Hello, and welcome to Saving Grace Education. In this Grade 7 History lesson, we'll be looking at the Dutch settlement of the Cape. The following definitions will be important for this lesson. Scurvy is a disease that sailors got due to a lack of vitamin C in their diet. The DEIC is an abbreviation in Dutch to the Fiorosia, Dutch East India Company. Colonization refers to when one country takes over another. Robben Island is an island 12 kilometers from Cape Town. Have a look at the flag for the Dutch East India Company. What is scurvy? Disease sailors got because they did not get any food with vitamin C while on sea voyages. You can say scurvy is caused by a huge shortage of vitamin C. The disease causes sores on the mouth and body. Around 50% of sailors died from this disease. The only cure is fresh fruits and vegetables. Have a look at some of the symptoms, including sores on mouth and body, in the pictures on the bottom of the slide. Remember that fresh vegetables and fruit are needed in order to avoid scurvy. Let's examine the reasons why the Dutch East India Company had a permanent settlement at the Cape in 1652. In 1647, the Harlem, a Dutch trading ship, was shipwrecked in Table Bay. Sailors reported to the Dutch East India Company that wonderful resources they saw at the Cape including plenty of water, fertile land, and lots of wild animals. The Dutch East India Company was the wealthiest and most powerful trading company in the world at the time. They traded for spices and other goods from India. On voyages, almost 50% of sailors died from scurvy. The DEIC decided it would be a good idea to set up a halfway station at the Cape so the fresh fruits and vegetables could be grown for the sailors to recover from scurvy. So let's look at the reasons so far for why there was a settlement at the Cape. The Dutch East India Company traded with countries in Asia because of the long voyages without any proper vegetables, or fruit, sailors got scurvy. For that reason, a halfway station at the Cape was established for fresh fruit and vegetables. Have a look at the map to see why this Cape is in such a strategic position for the settlement, and especially as a halfway station to supply fresh food. The Netherlands is where the Dutch East India Company was based. You will see that the Cape of Good Hope is roughly halfway between its further destinations, including Mauritius, Ceylon in what is India, and Batavia. Let's investigate Jan van Riebeek and a team of gardeners. In 1652, the DIC sent Jan van Riebeek and a team of gardeners to the Cape. Their task was to grow fruit and vegetables to supply passing ships. They signed contracts to stay at the Cape for five years. This time the Cape was only seen as a halfway station to supply fruit and vegetables to passing ships of the Dutch East India Trading Company for curing scurvy. Robin Island Van Riebeek and his men kept and hunted the following on Robben Island. They kept sheep and rabbits, and they hunted seals, penguins, and wild animals. Let's have a look at the effect 
Dutch East India Company had on the indigenous people of the Cape. The indigenous people were the Khoikhoi, Sun, and Koza people. They were in the Cape long before Jan van Riebeek. Khoikhoi were very happy to provide livestock to the company with barter. Later, van Riebeek told Khoikhoi they may not camp near them. In Khoikhoi culture, there is no private land ownership. This caused tension with the Dutch. The Khoikhoi eventually refused to trade further. Why would this be? The Khoikhoi realized that the less livestock they had left, the less wealth and status they had. They didn't agree of, with private land ownership. Let's focus on the fort built at the Cape by the Dutch East India Company. It is important to realize that the Dutch East India Company and the indigenous people of the Cape understand the use of land in different ways. The indigenous people did not believe in the concept of private land ownership. Let's have a look at the people called the Freeburgers. Let's examine the following flow diagram in order to understand the establishment of these people. Disease and harsh weather forced Van Riebeek to ask the Dutch East India Company for extra food supplies. He told the company that larger farms were needed on which to grow food. The company freed a few company members from their five-year contracts. These were allowed to move into the interior of the Cape to set up large farms where they would live permanently and supply food to the Dutch East India Company. These men became known as Freeburgers, or citizens. The Dutch East India Company decision led to the colonization of Cape Town, the Cape, Natal, and eventually the whole of South Africa. First by Holland, and later by Britain. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this lesson.